outside the home once they figure in child care and the cost of commuting. For most working parents, child care is by far the greatest expense. In 2010, the cost of putting two children in child care exceeded median annual rent payments in every state. That's according to Child Care Aware of America. Rising gas prices are pinching paychecks even further, shaving nearly 9% off the average worker's annual income. So the question of working or staying at home is not so clear-cut anymore. So we've asked financial advisor Terry O'Grady to sit down with us this morning to help parents everywhere make an informed decision. Good morning. Thank you hey, for being good here, morning, Terry. Dear. Thanks. You've got a fantastic calculator to figure out whether it makes more sense to go to work or stay at home. Tell me about that. Well, everything really begins with a plan. So you need to do some budgeting and we find a lot of times when we are putting together plans and you have a two-wage household and they're still not making ends meet, there's, there's got to be some reason there and a lot of times it's because the second wage earner is not making enough to cover their expenses. So you, you could take gas, for example, at $75 a week, add on some car maintenance, you're up to $5,000 there. You, you get a new job, you want some new clothes, a couple of grand for a wardrobe. Uh, there's a big one, Starbucks, $4 uh, a day for a cup of joe, and by the end of the year, that's probably $1,000 there. $10 a day to go out to eat lunch, and you know, you're about $2,500 there because you can't leave your colleagues hanging when they're going out to lunch. So it starts adding up really quick, and we haven't even talked about the big one, yeah, daycare. Childcare, exactly. And I think in my little scenario, $8,000 was probably mm -hmm. a little bit too low. And then if you have a, a second kid, while well, you might get some discount on that, you're still up much. like 16 grand or 20 grand. So you're really pushing 20 grand just to walk out the door and, and go to work. So then how do you figure out <clears throat> If it's better to stay at home then, I mean, you got your 20000 there, so you have to figure out, okay, can I make that much money at home doing something else? Exactly. Could you make that much money at home doing something else? I think if you have a job that's, you know, probably in the ten grand range, you better stay home. You're not going to make enough to, to leave the house. I think there's kind of a red zone between 25000 and $35,000 that you really are going to have to run the numbers to figure it out. Once you get beyond that, you probably, if you do the black and white math, are okay, but... You know, as a financial planner, we find it's not always about the math that, that in some cases you can't put a price on staying home with, with a child. And, you know, you have a six-figure job, but you'd rather stay home. Then there's those folks who say, hey, uh, I don't care what you pay me. Get me out of the house. I work for free. I just don't want to stay home. They want to get out and, and do something. But you so. say that there are ways, though, that you can make it work, but it's going to take some discipline. You first mentioned you have to set a budget. What are some other things that you need well, to do? Well, definitely, you have to set a budget. You need to be debt-free. That, that should be a major goal is to be debt-free because then you don't have a lot of money streaming out as you're trying to cover all the other things. Maybe you could work from home. There's all kinds of ways to do that today. Uh, possibly, if you have some skills, you can do some freelance work. Maybe the employer you are, are leaving or are looking at, we'll let you do some telecommuting and do things on the computer at home. And just don't fall prey to some of those, those scams we have all heard about that, that sound too good to be true. Fantastic advice, Terry. I'll post some more of his tips. You've got some great advice here, but I'll post some well, more thanks, of those on my Facebook page. Good to see you. Thanks for the advice. You too. You bet. John? Thank you very much. Hey, next at nine, pushing the limits of prom. What mom did...